Hello lads and ladies and welcome to this and welcome back for another video on the channel. It's a new season, we are back. I can't wait, it's July, it feels weird a football season starting in July, starting a week earlier due to the World Cup I believe, but I don't care, we've got our football back, we've got our routine back and it's today, it's Port Vale against Fleetwood Vlog. Port Vale, good side, won promotion last year via the playoffs, again, got through a little bit of luck with McCurdy missing his pen, but over the course of the season they deserved their promotion and at Wembley they were terrific, Daryl Clark, what a man and even better, what a manager. Vale Park is buzzing at the moment. New owners have gone in there recently in the last couple of years and they've just changed their outlook. Everything's done proper. There's going to be about six, 7,000 fans there today. Again, it feels good that they're back in League One and back competing. They're not here to make up the numbers. They'll stay up, in my opinion. They've got some good players. Wilson, who is out today. Uh, Jimmy Proctor, the former Fleetwood man. Ben Garrity. Um, so they have strengthened. Uh, they've added Gavin Massey in the week as well, who's a terrific player as well at Wigan. Looking forward to this. I think it'll be a draw today. Football's back. Let's get down to Vale Park. And if you are new to the channel, please remember to like and subscribe. This season is the biggest one yet. Looking forward to build on last year. Loads of League One content. Let's try and smash 200 likes. Come on the cards. We've arrived at Port Vale. First game of the season. Looking forward to this. Again, they've got a strong side. Obviously, James Wilson, not here, but they've still got a very good side. It'll be competitive. 4-3-3 for Fleetwood. Lynch in goal, Kent on the bench. I think he's been scapegoated a little bit. Was he poor last year at times, but was he the reason why we were in the bottom six, bottom seven? No. There's a lot of other reasons. Injuries played a part. I don't think I'd blame anyone, really. Lynch in goal. Danny Andrew left back. Uh, right back, we've got CJ. He looked a little bit uncomfortable last week, but he's still a good player and he can played a lot of other positions and then you've got Toto and Holgate um, and you've got do. who can drop into that like a back three like he did against right, Dundee yeah, last week ruining him a party um, Josh Vela in midfield as well Dan Batty excellent last week front three Shader Morris Paddy Lane and Ahmed Cherry looking forward to this it's a great tight team our 18 looks good. There's four, four attacking players on the bench. Kian A's being one, Ellis Harrison being one, Joe Garner being one. It's strong. We just can't afford injuries this year because that's, that's where we went wrong last year. And we are 1 1, take a point today, build for Plymouth next week, go on the cards. <laughs> Big game this, great hit, same size as Wembley. Um, again, good, good crowding as well, and you've got to play your fans as well. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come One thing different to last year, we're playing out for the back. Toto and Holgate always wanting the ball, and they'll play out to Danny or play into Paddy. And Vela and Ruidu will drop deep to try and create the ball, create spaces. That's what's really good last year. We just hoofed it and hoped. What? Really, you go one nil. I'd like to see. 
I don't like to get too excited, lad. We're top of the league. End the season now, yeah? Set these, loads of room, should score, should be 1 1. But we need to be better marking there. Decent work. Paddy Lane, excellent. We just ran the channel, made room for a through ball. Found Dan Batty who played forwards, run forwards, had a shot. Don't mind if I do. Good signs. One notable difference when we're defending, we have both our wingers coming back. Paddy Lane shading. When we do drops, so we've got men behind the ball, but when we go forward, we're fit enough now to go forward and drive. Shane and Adam Blade are making these runs. That has given us so many options. Vince's distribution is unreal as well. We've got to get through these next few minutes. They're getting the play in packs and three packs. We're still early on, but we need to guide ourselves through it. This is why we were 12th last year, this is why we were 20th. They were the, the outside that fits really well. Get balls into the box and hit the danger man. Should be 1 1. There we are. I said last week we were lucky not to concede from a few crosses, and today we've changed our look at times. It's a good ball in, skins, good ball in, good finish, great tone. Good limbs then, 1-1, one, one, deservedly so. It's how we react now, because last season we'd fall, we'd go into our shell, and we struggled to get back from it. We've just got to pretend it's nil nil again, um, and go for that winning goal. But they look like they're fighting for their life, never mind the first match day. They've just carried on from Wembley, the spirit, the high press, the energy, the way they're playing, the atmosphere. Everything's right for them, they're doing really well. I'm in it. It's deja vu, it's the same goal basically. Ball cross, skins, scraped home, decent finish, poor defending. I said all week that until we improve defensively from crosses, we won't do anything. I said we don't need to cave in like we did last year. We caved in, we conceded again. We're now chasing the game against a good side on their turf. Big seven, big 65 minutes. We've got to be better in this second half. We've got to be a bit more clinical. We've got to get more balls into the box. We've got to press up in the open 15 minutes. We've got a bit passive after that. We allow them to come on to us. I expect to see Joe Garner, Keane Hayes, Ellis Harrison in the second half. At the moment, the, the game is at such a slow, slugged pace. I it's going to be us to quicken the game up because they'll take this, they're getting closer and closer to the 90 minute mark and getting three points. We need some energy. So wasteful. We're looking for long ball and just hitting and helping. Well, where's the first 10, 15 minutes gone? Jay Lynch came for it, so I'll kick the ball. Like past Jay Lynch, muddled up and it nearly went in the net. We're trying to play like Man City style with League One, League Two and non-league type players. It's not working, there's no sting, there's no rhythm, there's nothing there. They've got no options up front, nothing in the field. The one good thing about them is their shape's really tight. They're not letting us in, man for man on everyone. You know, not letting us get those free wins that we did in the first 15, 20 minutes. Oh! When you try to get Ellis Harrison and Joe Garner, that's what happens. Put balls into the box, we'll have chances. Good ball in, Danny. Decent. 12 to go, we've improved a little bit, had a couple of chances, but nothing major there still, keeping hold of the ball nice and neatly, no real threat. Still 2-1, still in it, if there's going to be a fourth goal in this game, it's going to be Port Vale, we're not really threatening anything. <laughs> 70th 
seven minutes to go. Proctor and Mentz holding that ball up. He's doing everything that we can't do. They're doing really well. We can't get the ball off them again. Seen on the clock like all good teams do. Streetwise teams do. Darren Clark, the terrific manager. It's a decent side, this. Go on, Danny! Look at it. Good ball. Yes. It's it! Oh. And Batty. Paddy Lane. Those two players have been our main source of attacking income today. We need more from every other player. I know we've got players to come back, maybe a few to come in. But we need a lot more from a lot of other players on this pitch. If we're going to survive. Go on. Yes! Oh! I don't think many can have complaints about that. We didn't deserve anything. We were poor. They were the better side. We were good for 15 minutes after that. We need to show up. Well done to them two, Scrappy Goal. You're going to need those type of goals if you're going to stay up in League One. A lot of work for us to do. 45 games to go. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe. Until next time, I will see you later on the Fulham Way. A lot of improvement needed.